Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Okay, I told you guys I was going to be back. And before we get into what we're about to get into, I want you guys to make sure you like and share these videos. Us as content creators, it's hard in these YouTube streets. Okay, so today's episode, what I gotta bring to you guys is this is how. I don't know if this is a domestic violence-ish, but this is how a relationship can go totally two different ways. There's no connection in the relationship and both parties in the relationship are not seeing eye to eye. There's no trust, there's no commitment. This is turns into be something that we haven't expected. So the name of this video is called, Man Starts Shooting After Girlfriend's Daughter Talks to Dad. Let's just let that sit for a second. Man starts shooting after girlfriend's daughter talks to her dad? Let's get into it. Once the officers arrived, he denied ever having a gun. We'll see what the neighbors have to say about that. Keep your hands in the air, perfect. Do not move. All right? Can you identify yourself, please? I'm sorry, you need to speak up. All right. Keep your hands up, perfect. <laughs> Hands up for me, all right? Do not move, okay? I'm gonna detain you for right now, okay? Okay, buddy. Okay, so they just detaining him just to make sure everything is going all right because of the call that just came in. So basically what they're doing is they received the call and it's most likely because he's getting detained, they received the call from his baby mother. His girlfriend. You guys stay tuned. Nah. What is this? What's it's police. Can you um? Can you stay hands? Uh, I'm gonna ground this. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. The only thing that can save him at this point in time is not his word. The only thing that can save him right now is the female that this that made that phone call. So let's just see what she says and let's just see where she's going with this. And is this going to be a relationship? Is this because to me what it looks like is a toxic relationship. Let's just jump right back. In. You are. Uh, yeah. Stay hands. What's going on? You got mad or whatever because it's Father's Day and so my baby daddy was calling to speak to his daughter or whatever mm -hmm. and so she was upstairs with, with my sister and my brother that's the one that's in the kitchen right now mm -hmm. and he was like you stupid number one when it comes to a relationship as a man if you have any anger or you have any anger issues about you do not pull out that weapon and just start aiming recklessly That ain't going to happen. That's not going to lead you anywhere but in jail. And especially if there's a kid involved in that household. It's not the smartest thing to do. You brought this on yourself. You can't complain and say how she did you wrong or anything like that. It has nothing to do with her. It all stems from your anger issues. And it's, I think it's right there or something. He threw it on the ground and he threw it at the door and all that stuff and threw it back there. I locked the door because he started trying to come back in the house and he was pointing the gun. You take, take him... Take him that way. He was pointing the gun inside of the house or whatever, and so. I'm shooting the camera. Okay, you, but you on, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and read him for you then. All right. Yep. I know, but I still have to read them to you. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand these rights as I have explained them to you? Okay. Now, having these rights in mind, will you speak with us? Okay. Oh, started. I was sleeping. She came upstairs. I didn't speak to her, so, and I threw my gun over my head. She got mad. She was like, I'm tired of this. You want to, when you, when you do your thing, I'm supposed to be chill. So now it's my turn. So she got on her baby dad called, I guess. So he called. They started being friendly. So I came downstairs. I was like, man, we was, man, 
going in like half on a, a new apartment we moving. So I gave her 400. I was like, man, just get my 400 and I'm going back to my mom's house. And then I went out back and she followed me. And I pushed her, I was like, go back inside. And after that, she went, she went upstairs and started grabbing my clothes. And I grabbed my clothes before she <laughs> make it make sense. You can't keep putting yourself in these in these situations when you don't even have. First of all, when there's no trust in the, in the relationship, the relationship is just due to crash at any minute. If you trust in somebody, or if you don't trust in somebody, why you why are you dealing with them? Why are you dealing with them? That's my whole thing about it. If you can see these signs, or you see, I'm not saying who's right, who's wrong, but if you can see these signs, yeah. Before I put it back in the basket, it was all over the front porch. So I took the TV and I slammed it on the ground. Because, like, why are you throwing my stuff, my shoes, my clothes? That's nasty. It's nothing but poop out here. Like, that's messed up. Mm -hmm. So she got mad. She's been saying crazy stuff, but you know, I understood you can't really get religion with females because they're women. So it's, at the end, I'm going to lose because I already know, like, I wasn't even supposed to raise my, my voice with a female. So it just did it. I just gotta go to the county and just think it out, sit in the cell. Whose TV is it? Okay. Alright, what about the what about the gun? I don't have a gun. You don't own a sky pistol or anything like that? <laughs> okay, you didn't you weren't shooting in the backyard or anything like that? Alright, stand by. He literally starts shooting it and Where? back there and we heard it like maybe five six times and i called his mom and she was like it's best if we just call the police because he's shooting the gun off okay so he came over here mad why because that's my boyfriend we talked or whatever but it was father's day so i let her talk to her dad and he was like you're done for letting her talk to her dad even his mom tried to tell him that it's father's day she's supposed to be able to talk to her dad you're not her real dad like you're 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 just my What I can say is, she might have saved her own life just because he doesn't know how to deal with his anger issues. Going in the back, shooting a gun in the air when his kids around. The next thing you know, if you get him mad enough, he'll be pointing that gun and aiming it at you. So I'm not really, you know, um, mad for the point that she she brought the authority involved in this. But it's just all these things could be avoided if just dealing with the person and knowing the person that you're dealing with. But you know, sometimes it be the sex. And leave, I called his mom and told her, like, if he doesn't just leave peacefully, we're gonna just call the police. And then when I said something about the police, he went outside. Well, he, he was right there. My brother was sitting right there. And I was like, come on in. He came here, he grabbed the TV, he threw it right there first. He threw it right there, he threw it right there, and then he took it around the house and threw it back there. Okay. So you said he put your, his hands on you? What? How did he I do mean, that? Like he what do you mean? He was pushing me, kept just like pushing at me, swiping at me, and like he was gonna punch me. So I was like, okay, this is getting scary because like I just had to deal with this situation from somebody else, and I guess that's why he's doing this dumb because no, get I just had to deal with this with my baby daddy. Come on. But no, I was trying to make, I was trying to um record a video of him actually shooting the. And I'll be honest with you, the whole energy in this household, it looks like everything's off, everything's out of place. People, are, there's just a whole lot of things going on as, from, as far as I can see from this point. And of course, in, in, when you see a whole lot of things going on, that just, that ensues for toxic relationships and it never ends up going anywhere. You gotta have your life together, try to at least get your life together so you can make a relationship work. Of course, nobody's gonna trust anybody, I can see that. Down here, and I'm like, you know, it's a possibility that right. I'm pregnant. Uh, go ahead, and uh, once you get it, pull them into the shade or something. Grab your arms, your wrists, uh -uh. Your legs. Never punch you. No, besides, just kind of grab you by the. You said your shoulders and stuff. Stuff. Mm -hmm. Did he push you or what? Yeah, he was like, I'm sorry, I'm trying to push you. Right. But yeah, like he's pushing me like that, and like almost falling on the floor and stuff like that, and it was, it was happening back there. He was pushing you. And, yeah, and then around. Yeah. But no, that was him walking around with the, the damn gun. That's it. After he shot it off back there. Okay. And it was probably like five, six times. And then when he seen me making the video, because I'm like, 
everything is social media nowadays too don't get it twisted from when these situations happen and she's posting her posting what's going on in real time up on social media she could go back and it's just a whole mess i'm telling you if you don't when you imply social media in your relationships in your household you have to be very careful of how you're using it because sometimes you know it could be in your benefit and sometimes it, it, it don't but this whole situation here looks like a relationship that was never supposed to be and somebody is just taking their anger out on somebody else it's just people are just so disconnected to what a relationship is that they're taking this energy and the only companionship they have usually nine out of ten times is sex but there's no love there and it ends up in toxic relationships it's, it's just it's ridiculous inside the house and stuff that's the whole reason so he so he just shot it out back there where when did he bring it out in here yeah he brought it out in the house okay it was like dumb stupid that's why i was like okay i, I moved our conversation from inside the house to outside did and you then say I, anything about the gun itself or just pull his shirt up no he just pulled his shirt up and then started pulling it out and he was like you want to go be with your baby daddy you gonna be with him i'm gonna like that and I was like okay so I moved the conversation from in here he did to say outside it. yeah to out here and then that's when I was like oh sorry that's why I moved. we'll need to talk to him in a few minutes but we'll okay. deal with that in a second okay so. so I moved the conversation from right here from in here he's holding the TV too was and anyone I, around when he said that yeah yeah when he said what he about the shooting me with the damn gun well, oh. Oh, oh oh don't talk but yeah about that but yeah he was here okay can I see that video again Okay, you might have to see it. Mm -hmm. How much does your TV cost? Maybe like... It was a $300 TV. Yeah, you'll yeah, find it. Yeah, okay. You have a gun now? Hold up. 9-9, nine, nine, pull him out. Y'all didn't pat him down? No, he just went 10-26 with it. Did you pat him down, guy? 9-9. Nine, nine. Kendrick, did you pat him down? Yeah, we okay. So I did when we uh, when we pulled his wallet out. I did his front pockets and his back pockets, but not his waistline. Okay. All right. Just give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm still gonna. I'm gonna ask you the, the same questions that I just asked you. Yes, sir. Uh, so you got angry at her. You smashed the TV. Yeah, but she. And you pushed her. Personally. Yeah. I pushed her in the beginning. But yeah. She didn't fall. She just went like okay. Thing. Okay. She tried to say I punched so, her. So we uh. Nobody knowing that I didn't punch her. Okay. Hey, that's messed up. How many shots did you crank off? I didn't crank off none because I don't have a gun. Okay. Have you ever had a gun before? Oh, I'm not. I'm on probation, so I don't even think I can get one in my name right now. Okay. So, have you? Did you have a gun today at all? No. No. Not not once or twice. No. Okay. All right. Sit down. Respect. I won't lie to you. Man. My mom already did better. Than you just lied to me. We have a, no, we have video footage of you holding a sky pistol. <laughs> so where's the gun? I don't have the gun. But there's video footage of you holding a gun from like five minutes ago. No, he don't have a gun. So so what was shooting back there? Firecrackers? She already gave the evidence of you shooting the gun. You're in trouble now. Now look 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 where you put yourself at. Look look where you headed, man. You in the back of that hot whip? It's it's, it's nasty out there, man. This is it's, it's wicked out there. Let's let's. I don't know. I, I, not only that I don't believe him, but he just he doesn't seem to be you know on point. I don't know. And this is how people put themselves in situations where they end up at a point where like, okay, I'm getting arrested, and later on down the line, you probably fall in love with somebody else, and you got all of this stuff in your backpack holding you down, weighing you down. There's a lot of toxic relationships out here, but you just got to be careful of the people you're dating and know who you're dating before you just go down and sleep with them. Because in these times, man, 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 I don't know. Until next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, a.k.a. Mickey Made It. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And also, tell a friend to tell a friend.